hello queens and welcome back to today's video it is queen esther of queen she me and i'll share with you guys about journaling yes so i've decided for the month of may to pretty much come to you guys with some small quick easy videos sharing about mental wellness mental health and the things that i do and practice if not on a daily basis then on a every other day basis but it's something that i have found that has helped me throughout my years as in my adult life as well as in my childhood as well and one of those things has been journaling like oh my freaking gosh i didn't realize how many journals i had until i went to go grab them you guys and there's more of these these aren't even all of my journals that i actually have so this just goes to show you that i love journaling i think it's one of the safest ways to actually get out of your head and to get out of your emotions and to put it somewhere safe or somewhere that you feel is safe to put those thoughts down or to express those ideas or those create creative sides that you may have or whatever it is that you may want to document even if that includes drawing so journaling doesn't have to necessarily mean oh i'm writing down my daily everything that i did in the day and how everything went and i'm mad about this and i'm sad about this or i'm happy about that like journaling for me is really just writing down how you feel like literally getting in tune with how you feel so all of my journals pretty much are that it is a way for me to self-express it is a way for me to get out of my head and to just get it out on paper it's a safe place for me to actually document you know my spiritual journey and ways that i see myself growing even when i get done meditating sometimes that's when i will typically journal because i feel like once i have done meditation i feel more in tune with myself and then i'm actually open to actually hearing my inner voice so that way i'm actually able to write down whatever thoughts it is that i'm having whether it's something to help me to expand my consciousness or something that may be an idea for my business or something that it is that i'm wanting to do or that i'm passionate about or just someone that i may love like a family member a friend or my girlfriend like journaling can be more than just one thing and for you what you should do is use journaling for what it is you feel like it will help you to release and help you to see more of yourself so i know a lot of people who journal and i for one love to keep my journals i love to actually reflect upon where it is that i was a few months ago maybe a couple years ago it just all depends on how many journals you have to reflect upon and for me um it's a good way for me to see where i have grown throughout my journey see where it is that i have released things see where it is that i may still be holding on to some things too because once you get in the habit of journaling and however that habit may be so whether again if that is daily or every other day or maybe once a week like some people have to get into the groove of it and you should do what you feel comfortable with and I love journaling because it's simply that it's an easy physical way to actually see where you are at in your life and two for me it really helped me to see where I was mentally within my own life and so when I was younger I used to actually write poetry I didn't really pay attention to that until a few years ago I was talking about something with someone and I was like you know what I used to write a lot of poetry and for me poetry was a safe way for me to express what it was that I was going through because you guys know in my recent video I shared with you about my anxiety and depression update and then I also have a video previous to that on um, really going in depth as to my depression how long i've been in it and things and how i came about to realize that i was actually suffering from anxiety and depression so those videos will be linked down below for you to check out um after this video of course so yeah so poetry was actually an early way for me to actually vent to express myself creatively and again like as far as like venting i mean in a good and a positive way you know because you can vent and it be something positive because sometimes it may be something good going on with you but you haven't been able to share or express your actual trueness of it so you can vent about it that way too venting doesn't have to be mean or aggressive or angry or anything like that like venting is different for everybody and so poetry is one of those ways for me and i wish i still had my journals because my mom will tell anybody like the girl has some journals okay um even after i got done with my therapy you guys i have still continued to journal now it may not be every day but if i remember if i have time i always try to sit down and do it why because it is such a nice way to just simply relax 
to get out of your head, to get into your heart, and to really see how you are truly feeling without any external distractions or even to your internal distractions. So getting somewhere quiet, somewhere you can be alone for about maybe 15 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, it all depends on what works best for you and your lifestyle. I would highly suggest just getting a simple journal. And one of those ways to get into journaling is to find those ones that have positive sayings or mantras on them. I love journals that do that. And those that are attractive to your personality. So if you like you know floral things or girly things or glitz and glam you should be getting journals and planners or any kind of notebook to cater to your personality so that way you'll be prompted to pick it up because you'll be like oh my journal is so cute and naturally you'll want to open it and get into it and write down and everything like that so make sure that you do that so this one says say yes to new adventures and I've had this one for a while so some of it's starting to peel off and then this one says let your dreams set sail. Faith plants the seed. Love makes them grow. Makes it grow. And so as you can see, like I always have something inspirational. So that way I'm able to actually, you know, have some kind of positive positivity coming back into me because too, the things that you surround yourself with, the things that you read, the things that you um, you know, have a like or interest in all of those things impact you some way, shape, or form on the subconscious level, meaning your trueness, your true self. Um, and that's the side that's kind of like your inner side or like that inner voice where you like be like, Oh, you better not do it, or you better do it. Yeah, like your subconscious. So, you want to be imprinting or um, in taking things that are positive, that you know, whether you realize it or not. It's just subconsciously still having that positive impact on you. So surrounding yourself with positive words, I feel really does help a lot, especially if you're in like a bad mood and say you get the, you're going to sit down and to write, like say if I was having a bad day and I wanted to journal or something like that, like this would help me. And it says, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. And so for me, sometimes I get discouraged. Sometimes as being an entrepreneur and maybe something that I want to do or may not reach the goal or whatever the case may be for that week and sometimes you know I might be like oh man you know like I need to get out of my head I need to you know write and express or whatever the case may be and so yeah so I would gravitate towards something like this so that way I'm getting that positive impact you know I'm getting that good word you know I'm being encouraged I'm being motivated I'm being inspired Two, if you have time in the morning, please try to journal. And two, like sometimes just sit down and write a little love note to yourself. Like I have done it. Like sometimes, like I would just sit down and write and just write something positive to myself, just something that I know about me, and just you know, just say, hey, it's like you're doing good today. Like you woke up happy. You woke up positive. You woke up grateful. You woke up full of life and love in your heart. You're grateful for the birds in the sky. You'll wait. You're grateful for seeing that sunrise every morning because of the way. You're your apartment is set up like it's so many things that we can complain about but there's so many things that we can be grateful for too so if you decide to journal you can also do a gratitude journal you can do a prayer journal because I do have some journals that are that like that as well where it's simply just a prayer written down literally a full prayer and then at the end amen hallelujah to God be the glory whatever it is that you want to put down to you know solidify you know that prayer or a shay you know <laughs> so however you want to do that um journaling can be used in many different formats and for me journaling is really good for those who have you know anxiety and depression because when you're anxious it's because you're having some form of stress and sometimes when you're stressed you don't express how you're feeling or you feel like people may not understand so sometimes getting out of your head and getting it on paper is the way to go and so i always encourage people to get journals even if you're on entrepreneur writing down your ideas writing down your ideas will actually help you to see it to actually believe it to actually see it grow and to expand and then once you start actually writing it down and actually doing the physical work because faith without works is dead then you'll be able to you know really see where you are in your life and it really helps you to see your dreams and your ideas you know come to life and so journaling can be a multitude of things and so again if you're one of those people who hasn't done journaling or is new to journaling start by finding one that has some kind of inspirational or motivational quote and my two places to go for journals period and actually the only places I go is Burlington Coat Factory and um, Ross now they do have some in Marshalls but that's very rare and in between and sometimes it's a little bit more 
the pricier side but burlington you can definitely find some that are $2.99 so this one was $2.99 was $4.99 and it's because they had the gold hardware but it's kind of faded now this one i believe was $4.99 and it's just because of the size this one's $2.99 this one was $2.99 this one was $2.99 <laughs> this one was $2.99 this was one of my favorite ones actually and then this one as well was $2.99 so like I stated these aren't even all of the journals that I have in my collection but I highly encourage you to grab one get you one that speaks to you don't just go grab one just because you want to go get a journal no literally get a journal that resonates with you and the more that it resonates with you it will prompt you to want to pick it up more and to sit down and to write whatever it is that you want to write like your journal should be your safe space and if you feel like you may not be able to document you know something on actual physical paper then you know they have these actual e diaries or e-journals now me I'm, i don't get down with that i'm old school i like pen and paper so that's more of my job but they do have those options as well for the most part i'm old school go to burlington get you a journal and i mean they have a whole bunch of them even those that have like the de daily devotional scriptures in them as well so i hope this helped you guys i just wanted to come on here and just share this video with you because it's just one of those things that i know that has helped me tremendously on my anxiety and depression journey and and it's only been going up from here you guys so I hope that this helps you I hope that this inspires you to you know get out of your head and get into your heart you can heal yourself you have to find safe and healthy ways to do so okay you guys so each and every one of you queens I just want you to know that you are loved you are not alone that you can overcome any and everything that's presented to you and remember God never puts any more on you that you can bear so I love you guys I'm here for you please leave your questions down below in the description box and I will see you guys in my next video queens bye you guys Mwah. <laughs>